hey guys welcome back to another vlog so this is going to be more of a homey video i know i've done a lot of uh, travel vlogs over the last month or so but we're going to be here for the next few weeks i'm just about to head out to home zones to see what they got i've been wanting to go for a few weeks and i was like right today i'm going to go and just see what i find and it might be one of those where i end up like coming home with the entire store or i might not find anything but I'm just gonna see because I do want to do like a little bit of a facelift for the house and just get a few kind of like just like superficial things like a few cushions maybe a new um throw so I'm just gonna just gonna see what they've got and I'm a bit bored with the house right now so I thought we'd just have a little bit of a refresh and get a few little bits and then later I thought I'd do a bit of a wine tasting because we've got a bunch of wines through from a partner that I'm working with called Wines of Provence and Provence is like the best region in the world for rosé they produce the most gorgeous rosés and I've got a bunch that I need to get through so I thought that I'd do a bit of a tasting and kind of compare a few different wines because you don't often get a chance to do that because when you normally drink wine you'll have like one bottle at a time so I thought that would be uh, fun just to kind of compare the wines and see how they differ from like the different regions but anyway let's head out to home sense now I'll try and vlog bits around the store if it's not too busy and um we'll see what we find so this is my outfit for the day I'm wearing my beloved H&M jacket it's like such an easy item to throw on top super super cash uh, and I paired it with just a simple black bodysuit and black ripped jeans and then um, just a pair of white trainers. And then my earrings are from a brand called Matraya Jewelry. And I've been wearing a lot more gold jewelry recently. I've never ever been a gold girl until now and I'm really liking it. But these earrings are actually made by a very, very dear friend of mine and she has created her jewelry brand. She makes everything. I'll leave a link in the description box down below to her Instagram because her jewelry is just incredible and she's a small business and she's one of my best friends and I'm so proud of her. So um, yeah, these earrings are very, very, very cute and uh, just like really nice for every day just to kind of jazz up a uh, very simple outfit. Anyway, I got my Eva booked. So let's head to Home Sense and see what we find. I'm very excited, can you tell? <laughs> So I'm back from home since I had a semi successful trip. So I did get one cozy comfy thing. I got this throw, which is so, so nice and soft. This one is lovely and I can't stop touching it. And it's just very, very soft. So this will be very nice for winter now that it's getting um, darker earlier and it's cooling down a little bit. And what else did I get? I got a tin opener very exciting i also got some tumblers also very exciting i ended up actually getting like boring things like everyday boring household things i didn't go with that intention but it just like just happened that way whatever i also got some coat hangers and these are like really um sturdy heavy duty ones because a lot of ours end up bending especially like with our big winter coat so these will be good for that i also got a new teapot and I can't wait to use it. I did have a really, really nice teapot that Matt bought me for my birthday. Um, funny birthday gift, isn't it? But he broke it by accident and um, he still hasn't bought me a new one. So I just thought, you know what, I'm going to buy myself one. And it was only like $12.99. So it's not bad at all. And it also has a little strainer in the top, which I do really like. And I have so much loose leaf tea that I want to go through. And um, I honestly drink like a ridiculous number of... Um, cups of tea a day it's actually ridiculous so I thought this would be good to uh, kind of just make my way through all of my loose leaf teas it's a really really good size if it gets broken again probably not by me probably by you know who <laughs> if it gets broken again then I won't be like super sad because it's not really expensive but I just thought this would be a really good little purchase so I'm going to use that tonight and make some peppermint tea and also I just got some like spatula thingies for the kitchen and also a bathroom mat so it wasn't the most successful but i did get some really good like everyday things and i'm really excited to curl up in uh, my lovely new blanket throw for the sofa before we make dinner i thought we would do uh, a bit of the uh, wine tasting 
that I mentioned. So I've got the rosé in the fridge, it's currently chilling, and um, I will share my thoughts and let you know what I think about these wines. So I've got my lineup of rosés already. They are chilled and uh, ready to enjoy. So I'm actually working with Wines of Provence at the moment, and over the last couple of months, I've been trying out a lot of their different wines. It's a really, really great partnership. Um, rosé from the Provence region is just beautiful. It's kind of like the benchmark for rosé. Obviously we can't travel right now but it's quite nice to have a little taste of France through these beautiful wines. So in the Provence region there are actually three different that is called appellations around the area. So kind of like three main regions within Provence. So there's Côte de Provence which is where wines like Whispering Angel are from and Miraval. This is like a very very popular wine. Another key region is uh, Côte de Roi en Provence which is the smallest kind of producer in this region and this is where the Lopaline is from and it's kind of very very mountainous and um, so it does produce a slightly different taste and then you've got Coteau d'Aix-en-Provence which is where this little one is from and um, each region is slightly different but generally with Provence rosés they are a little bit more dry they're not overly sweet they're a little bit more acidic and they're a lot paler in color so you compare it to a lot of BC wines which are a little bit darker in color kind of more of like a deeper red and they're a little bit sweeter there is like a very very clear difference let's get opening them and we can um, try them out. I'm gonna enjoy myself. Are you gonna have any? Oh yeah. So, oh yeah. Hobbs is behind the camera, by the way. He hasn't said a word yet, but it's all, all me talking. <laughs> it smells really nice. It's very, very amar am amaratic, aromatic, isn't it? Very nice. Um, okay. So maybe I'll open them all and then um, we can do like a bit of a taste comparison. I feel like I haven't had rosé in ages. It's only been a week but feels like ages, doesn't it? And we've had a good week this week, so we can celebrate tonight with a great selection of rosés. Okay. With, with three bottles of rosé. Three bottles of rosé. That's like the proper celebrations there. I feel like this bottle especially, and this one, is such a vibe, isn't it? Like, look how nice the branding is. And then there's even the, like this logo on the top of the cork. It's very, very nice. Okay, let's get this one open. Okay, so we're just starting off with a bit of a sniff test, <laughs> which you're probably actually... You don't know what anything is until you sniff it. No, you don't. It's true. That's Matt's test, isn't it? Anything, you'll sniff it first. <laughs> Let's start with the Miraval. I love this wine, don't I? Okay. So it's always much better to drink from a glass with a stem because that way you're not actually like holding the bottom of the glass and when you hold it, you actually transfer a lot of heat so you'll warm up the wine. So it's always better to use a glass with a stem and um, I feel like they just look nice anyway. So there's definitely a difference in um, colour as well. You can't really tell from the bottles but when it's here you can. Do you want a glass? Which one do you want? You like this one. Hubs likes this one, I know. Do you want to try all of them with me? Do you about? Okay. Well we do like this one, don't we? Okay, there you go. And... This would look really nice with like a little flower in it. Such a nice bottle. Which is which? <laughs> oh no, this is the Miraval. You can tell by the colour. Yeah, you can tell by the colour. This is the Opaline. And this one is the Bargemont. Okay. I might be pronouncing some of these incorrectly. I did live in France for a bit, but that was a very long time ago. So, apologies if I am. Okay, so, you can actually see a difference in the colours, can't you? Because the Miraval is kind of more of almost like a peach. It's like very, very light in colour. The uh, La Bargemont is um, a little bit more pinky, kind of like a little bit more salmon. And then the uh, Opaline is quite similar. So it's interesting to see the difference in colour. I'm going to start with the Miraval because I just really love this wine. So this brand is actually owned by Brad and Angelina Jolie. Wow, oh, Brad and Ange. Fun fact of the day, Brad, Brad and Ange are, are good friends. Not really, Irish. Sniff test. <laughs> oh, that's just so nice. Oh, just, oh this delicious. Is, it is, it's really, really delicious. So I like the Miraval because it's, um, not overly sweet so it is more well it's kind of like the extra dry side so you've either got like dry wines which are like not sweet and then you've got sweet wines which are obviously quite sweet so the miraval is 
a little bit fruity. You can taste like citrus notes and like berries. It's not super heavy. So this one just goes down so, so easily. And that's what you get with a lot of rosés from this region. They're like citrusy, they're kind of spicy, and they just have like a very, very distinctive taste. Okay, so let's go on to La Bargie Mall. The color is a lot different. This one is a lot more like full bodied. Wow, so different in taste. The taste is actually very different to the aroma as well. I thought it would be a lot stronger in taste. Very, very ar aromatic, this one. Yeah, you should let your viewers know that you can only really get the sense of the smell if you kind of squint your eyes when you yeah. do that, otherwise it doesn't work. <laughs> well, you've got to look the part, haven't you? <laughs> what do you think? It's a lot sweeter, isn't it, than the, yeah. the Miraval? Yeah, there's definitely a face. There's a, the fa a face that you've got to pull when you do wine tasting. Kind of a tiny little bit spicy, like you get a little bit like a spicy aftertaste. That's really, really, really nice. Do you need to cleanse your palate between each one? With what, like chocolate or something? Well, no, I don't know. Just, <laughs> or is it like... I mean, maybe. I don't, I don't actually know. I should have, should have figured that out. Never mind. We can get some cheese if you want some cheese. So now we're going to go on to the Lopaline, which is from Côte de Rois in Provence. And uh, we've had this actually as well. So price wise, this one is $25. The uh, La Bargimont, this one is the most expensive at $37. And the Miraval is $28. So they're kind of all sort of different price points. Okay, so let's try the Lopaline. So... Squinty eyes, sniff. <laughs> Do I look the part? Do I look like a sommelier? <laughs> this one isn't as aromatic as the uh, Le Bargimont. But the taste is a little bit more full. That's really interesting. I thought that it would match. I thought like a fuller scent would equate to like a fuller body. But this one's definitely a lot fuller in my opinion. And this one, the scent isn't as strong. This one's really nice. Have you tried that one before? We've had this before, yeah. I think we had it uh, a couple of months ago, just with dinner. Do you want to try it? It's a nice one, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, it is. That's very nice. Although Provence roses are generally more on like, the drier side, I'd say that the Miraval is the most dry. It's a little bit more acidic. I think this would go next. And then I think, for me, the Opaline is the sweetest one. What do you think? I have to go. I have to go back through them all and try again. Yeah, <laughs> they're very similar. They are very. Yeah, these two are actually very, very similar. They they're smell. Both, um, they smell really different. Yeah, but the taste is quite similar, isn't it? It's interesting how the the scent is so different. This one's really, really, really aromatic. Oh, it's really hard. <laughs> I should be taking notes. We once went to um, a wine tasting session. It was in the winter time. We were at a ski resort at Sand Peaks in Kamloops. And we did, do you remember, like a red wine, chocolate and wine pairing tasting session. And it was amazing. It was so good. Okay, so this is the Miraval. I think this is also my favourite. In fact, I'm just going to... Are you just going to try it? <laughs> I'm just going to have this. I think that's what you have already. <laughs> Is that yours now? Are you <laughs> taking it away from me? Is that why you moved it? <laughs> Do you want me to pour it? <laughs> it's hard to pour it's in hard camera. To pour and film. <laughs> I probably poured that wrong. <laughs> I like the Miraval actually because you've got like this little hole in the bottom, so it makes it easy to pour. It smells different now than when we first it, poured yeah, it. It really does, yeah, because I guess when it kind of interacts with the air and when it has time to just sort of breathe, the uh, the taste does change. Which is very, very interesting and it's like, it's really cool too seeing how it, with like different terrains it can produce like a different, completely different type of wine. Anyway, that concludes our mini wine tasting session. I've actually never done rosé wine tasting before so um, 
I really enjoyed that and it's nice to compare them because you don't generally get to do that that often unless you open like a few bottles at once. It's nice to uh, see how they differ. So if you're looking for a more sweeter wine, um, I would recommend the Bargemont. It's a bit more spicy, it's a bit more floral. The, uh, the Lopaline is fruity, a bit more acidic, still more on the sweet side. And then if you like something that's a lot more dry, then I would go with the Miraval. The taste of this one is very, very different. It's uh, a bit more acidic, a little bit lighter in taste. I sort of uh, veer towards more drier wines. Which is your favorite? The Miraval. The Miraval, yeah. yeah, me too. I guess it's all down to preference, isn't it? They're all really beautiful wines. It's such a, a lovely region for wines and it's like obviously very, very popular. But anyway, I will pop some links in the description box if you want to try out any of these wines. And I'm also going to be doing a wine giveaway on my Instagram. So go and check that out in the coming weeks if you fancy trying some of these beautiful wines. It will be a slightly different selection, but one of the bottles is like a giant like magnum size bottle. So it's a really, really great giveaway. I think we're going to have some dinner now and um, enjoy some of these rosés, what are we having for tea? Three bottles of wine. Three, we've got three bottles of wine for dinner. <laughs> we've had a little bit of a disaster. I just got the wine stopper out and popped it in here, not realizing that this top part is way too big. So now the little stopper is inside the wine bottle. I don't know how to get it out. That's a lesson to learn. Nice. It is. Well, these are little cute little wine stoppers that are really good. Um, but just evidently, not for that bottle. <laughs> Yay, my new bedding has arrived and I'm so, so excited to get this on and try it out. We received our new white terry bedding and I was very patiently waiting for that delivery because I was really excited. So we've had uh, a couple of nights with it so far and it's honestly just so dreamy and so soft and so nice and I never thought I'd be so excited about bedding but I am. So we were recommended this company by a lot of people because I was looking for bedding that's like crisp but also soft and like heavy but also cooling and that would just give us like a just like a dreamy cloud like sleep because I'm sure you know and I've spoken about it a lot on here we call the Fairmont beds cloud beds because they're just like they're just amazing and so we're trying to create our very own cloud and I feel like we're one step further with this bedding so it's just like it's just so so nice it is a bit of an investment and it's more than I've ever spent on bedding before but I feel like it is 100% worth it and it's kind of like you spend a lot of your life sleeping and so when you kind of divide it up and kind of divide it into like cost per night or cost per hour it's like nothing so anyway i'll show you what our bedding looks like now so we went for the white bedding and um, it kind of has like a bit of a crinkled finish but it's just so so nice and fresh and then i have just popped on this throw that i got from home since the other day it's not quite wide enough so it's uh, a little bit short on the edges but it just makes the bedroom look and feel really really cozy and it feels so nice so i think i'm going to spend this afternoon doing a bit of a wardrobe switcheroo so i've still got my summer wardrobe in my closet and i need to uh, switch it out and bring out my winter wardrobe so it's a little bit of a mission but it's got to be done sometime so i have just grabbed a bottle of rosé, this one was already in the fridge actually, it's the uh, Barbel from uh, Couture d'Aigues en Provence. It's only $20, so it's actually really affordable and um, you can find it in like BC liquor store and it's just a really really lovely wine. So I'm going to crack that open and have it while I uh, organise my wardrobe. But I'm going to leave this vlog here otherwise it's going to be a very very long one but I hope you've enjoyed it, it's been very very home base but i really liked doing the uh, tasting the other day and it's actually like a really fun thing to do it'll be a cool thing to do with some girlfriends if you've got a few different wines that you want to try and hopefully it's given you a little bit of wine inspiration if you're looking to try a new rosé but anyway thank you so much for watching please do subscribe if you want to see more of my videos and hopefully i'll see you in my next one bye